News tonight at five, two shootings leave a woman dead and a man hurt. And now Metro Police believe the two shootings are connected. They happened around noon and followed three others across Marion County overnight. Lauren Kosick has been out on the east side all afternoon talking to neighbors there about this very disturbing trend in that community. Lauren. Well, and Felicia, police left this scene about two hours ago, but all afternoon they were focused on this yard behind me in front of that dark gray home and that white car. They say despite the victims being found in two separate locations, the original shooting happened here on Grand Avenue. Just before noon, IMPD taped off a section of this northeast side neighborhood after a woman was shot and killed in front of her home. While detectives were on their way, they received a description of a car that quickly left the scene. At that point, officers were able to identify the vehicle through different means of technology. Officers then tracked down that car a few miles away at New Bridges Apartments, where they found a man shot in the leg. Obviously, there was some type of conflict. Conflict resolution is not resolved with a weapon. It is resolved with voices. Um, it is resolved with walking away. This week, the city officially passed more than 200 homicides for the third year in a row, a concerning statistic that has left neighbors frustrated. I have come out the house and seen kids murdered in my neighborhood. It's terrible around here. Arthur Shevers moved to Indy a few years ago from Alabama to be with his family. But lately, he says he's been worried about his safety. This is ridiculous. And you got shot, didn't you? Shot up. The car almost got me. It's a struggle to come out the house and it's a struggle to go home. That's not safe. Right now, police are still investigating what led up to this afternoon murder, saying there were many witnesses, including children.